Hello friends, welcome back to Tech with Viresh. In the continuation to our series on discussing different detailed uh, topics about Apache Spark and the related ecosystem, today we'll pick up a topic which is a pretty uh, new technology on the block, uh, what is called as Apache Arrow. Uh, this is a technology which is meant to provide a common in-memory data format which can be used across uh, different uh, heterogeneous system uh, without getting into the overheads of data conversion and data copy. So this is quite a path-breaking technology which is used by many uh, you know, processing engines and other sort of components uh, which plays around uh, data uh, technologies. And uh, this particular uh, uh, concept of Apache Arrow is very innovative from the fact that this is a common contentions when you work in any sort of data crunching or data processing kind of environment that you may need to move data across different uh, systems or subsystems maybe from a Spark to HDFS, HDFS to say Cassandra or Mongo or again you'll have to bring that back into the context to do the further processing and stuff like that and every time data moves from say one system to another as the formats are different how the the internal uh, data format is represented into different systems is 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 different then data needs to be you know uh, copied across and needs to be converted into the compliant format to kind of uh, handle such particular use cases and scenarios Apache Arrow presents a common in-memory data format which can be used across any sort of systems uh, uh, and this data format uh, can go along with any system and can be worked upon. So guys we'll, we'll look in detail what exactly is Apache's, Apache Arrow and how Spark or PySpark utilizes this particular te technology to app to optimize uh, uh, the data conversions and uh, data transfers between uh, different processes and different systems. So guys, let's start. So if, if we discuss first of all, uh, what is Apache Arrow? Apache Arrow is a cross-language cross uh, development platform for in-memory data representation. So it is, in, 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 in a very simple terms, it is an uh, in-memory data format, like you have other data formats, uh, like uh, Parky, CSV, text, sequence, others. Similarly, it's a data format, uh, which can reside within memory, and it can wor work across uh, uh, different languages and different uh, development systems. So there are a number of different languages that it supports for now and it's, it's a big wide range from C to Java to all of that. And another highlight about uh, Apache Arrow is it can handle any sort of data, whether that data is flat or it's in hierarchical data or the data represented in <coughs> any sort of uh, underlying format with XML, JSON, binary, etc. And another thing that is uh, um, and there are benchmarking provided to uh, factual benchmarking provided to kind of uh, represent that Apache Arrow can work very effectively for analytical sort of operations. So this format is pretty handy if you have any sort of an analytical operations to be performed, which primarily is the case with you know big data data processing world uh, with systems like Spark, PySpark, etc. I think this picture will uh, kind of clear the concept of Apache Arrow. If you see on the left hand side, if we talk about this particular picture, this very clearly shows that you have different systems like Spark, you have Pandas, you have NumPy's, this is Drill, and Hive, and then you have different formats with all of these systems. Like, And every time we kind of talk across these systems, there's a need to kind of you know, do the serialization, deserialization of, of data and get it compliant with the format understood by one particular system and that kind of competition of this serializing and deserializing the object in, in itself takes a huge amount of uh, compute power uh, which on the right hand if you see is a solution provided to, to this particular kind of problems in the form in the form of Apache Arrow where it kind of gives you a common in-memory data layer uh, format which is kind of can be easily you know, uh, used across as as uh, as as a data 
mode of communication uh, without any overheads of conversions and uh, copy so guys that's what Apache Arrow is kind of this area Apache Arrow is trying to solve um, another uh, point to remember about uh, Apache Arrow as a data format it is column oriented uh, which obviously makes sense uh, that this flavor of co column orientation helps it to kind of run the analytical operations much more effectively now we'll try to see how uh, this Apache Arrow is, is utilized by Spark. <coughs> so Spark under the hood uses this uh, Apache Arrow to kind of uh, do the data movements or to have the common data formats when, when the data kind of shuffles or the processing kind of shuffles between different processes like on one hand you have a process of where you're using a Spark Scala and on the other side you're trying to use uh, a Python kind of a process where using some sort of pandas, numpies to do data manipulation and you want to bring that Python uh, data frame into the Spark data frame and such kind of you know process uh, shifting of, of data between different processes is kind of optimized using Apache Spark it gives a better memory footprints when uh, the data needs to be kind of uh, copied and converted uh, across different uh, heterogeneous processes and systems um, it is not enabled by default so to make it enable we'll have to set this property uh, spark.sql.execution.arrow.enable if you do it true so apache uh, arrow flavor of of uh, you know data conversions between different processes will come into the picture uh, it is as we have already discussed it is available as an optimization when we try to move between different process and we'll see how it works and if we quickly jump on to a quick example that I've made is uh, I've written a small Python code when I'm using numpies and pandas and uh, using this I'm trying to create a, a, a panda data frame which is obviously a non-distributed panda data frame here I've created a data frame with 100 um, records and three columns some random values generated by the numpy and here I have made this property of arrow enabled and then uh, this particular data frame I am now trying to convert this panda data frame into the spark data frame using this command and now when I am shifting this between uh, between the processes and between the between the two different processes here it has a python process and when I am trying to bring it here it become a Spark or a JVM Java based process and again I can convert it back so in all these three different steps the data is kind of moved between different processes and uh, when it moved between different processes Apache Arrow has come into the picture and try to optimize and make that movement across the different processes much more efficient so if we have a such kind of a use case where we kind of moving across processes it makes all the more sense to enable this particular property for Apache Arrow to be enabled. So guys that's it in this particular video. Keep learning. Have a good day ahead. Bye bye.